Hi, my name is Mitch Friedman. Today I will be discussing professional disposition uh, of educators and teachers. I first want to examine the dispositions I would bring into a classroom on a personal basis. Considering I've already been in a classroom as an instructional assistant for the past three years, uh, working with children from kinder to fifth grade, uh, it has already allowed me to understand some of the qualities uh, that I have naturally that I offer students and learning. First, I am a very compassionate person. This predisposition uh, has given me the ability to make connections and bonds rather easily with both children and adults. The bonds that I have already made uh, in my early career are both very rewarding and fulfilling. Um, I feel that this is an important characteristic in supporting student success and achievement. The other attribute I will bring into the classroom is respect for the individual and the diversity of others. This quality uh, was learned through the environments I've been through, people and events that I have lived and met through my life. Uh, from an early age, I was exposed to integration in schools, um, and then I had experience in the military. My work experience uh, more recently brought me to various regions across the country where I met people of different cultures and lifestyles. And most recently, my experience in the modern day classroom and working in special education gave me the depth of admiration and grace for children of various living conditions and disabilities. One reflection I have about myself uh, is, and that, that I would like to improve in my first year of teaching would be the ability to allow students a, the chance to work more independently and, uh, and not help them out um, as much as I do now. <laughs> I remember sitting with my principal this past school year um, during my exit interview, and he let me know that there is one thing that if, if there's one thing that he could pass along to me, uh, it was that students need the ability to be creative and to find their own resources. Uh, that first that first year students tend to uh, first year teachers tend to overmanage their students because they want them to succeed so much. Um, step back and allow them to explore and be inventive. I plan on working on this disposition this next year while in the classroom. I also plan to utilize my strengths in working with students. Um, to create bonds, to understand personal issues and concerns, and to build on the experiences and qualities that adhere to performance and fulfillment. Uh, diversity is a really hot topic in education right now as, as students bring in a variety of different cultures, ideas, uh, behavioral issues, and, and of course learning disabilities into, the, into each classroom. More than ever, uh, there is a cultivation of contrasting individuals that come from various places and situations and that teachers really have to manage every day. As a compassionate and respectful teacher, uh, I plan to embrace those differences um, of culture, race, and learning distinctions uh, within my classroom. Uh, trying to incorporate those differences into the lesson plans and class environment so that all students will feel comfortable and safe. And of course, bias has no part of instruction and I hope to encourage objectivity and equality in my classroom. Uh, in my career as a geologist uh, for the past 16 years, we were given performance reviews on an annual basis. And these were used to complement strengths as well as to point out areas that might need some, some work. I have always used these critiques to enhance my abilities uh, as well as to set SMART goals uh, for myself for the next year. I think this is the same for students uh, who have had performance evaluations. Um, it is important for students to understand uh, their own strengths and to build on something positive and to learn and to set goals for themselves. I see using assessment data to discuss SMART goals for each student and to allow them to participate in their own process. 
I appreciate you listening to my ideas, thoughts um, regarding teaching dispositions. Of course, educators uh, learn to be better educators with experience, uh, but having a foundation of qualities uh, to bring into the classroom uh, in your first year helps, I think, helps set a teacher on, off, up on a path to success and for them and their and, and for their students. Thank you.